I'm inside the prison. Okay, I'm up in cell block B. Come and get me already.
Life's got to forever The green grass blows in the wind and dancing It would be a much better sign Good job! Now get me out of here! There's a switch over there! Hey, nice work back there. When this is over, I'm by the first round and then the second. Can you walk? Walk, run, fly? Shit, I may be a little slow, but whatever the hell it takes to get out of here, let's do it. Where's Al? It split us up when we got here. But I heard him say something about taking a woman to solitary. And that's where we're going. Well, we gotta get back to the guard station. Got it. Come on. <laughs> I'll read him his rights. Okay, let me try to open that gate. Got it. Man, what happened in here? Oh, now that's gross. Alex, hit that switch. Let's try to find a way out of here.
It looks like I can control the gates for the entire prison from this panel. Yes, it works! Okay, we need to split up. Now here's what you do. Head across the catwalk to the locked bars on the far side. Now get out of here!
though. She's been gone for over two weeks now. I started having nightmares and waking up in strange places. Maybe if I find her, the nightmares will go away. Wheeler, you there? The damn radio keeps going out. I'm glad you're back. Listen, this door is jammed. I need your help. Okay, I can see you. That's the entrance to the A block. Okay, go back. I'll let you know. Okay, Wheeler. I found a keypad, but it looks broken. I'm gonna search for a way to fix it.
Well, this puzzle looks familiar, except this time there's no clear solution to it. We'll have to use trial and error to fix the electric current, unless we read between the lines. To find the solution to this puzzle, we need to look at the wires from left to right. So white's up first. Since white rhymes with right, we'll put the wire just to the right. Simple enough. Next is the color green. What animals are green? Newts. So if we take the word newts and subtract all the letters that appear in the word green, we get WTS, which is three letters long. This lets us know to put the green wire in the third position. Now we have the yellow wire, the abbreviation for which is Y. What else begins with Y? How about Yogi Bear? Where did Yogi Bear live? That's right, Yellowstone. If we subtract yellow from that word, we're left with stone, which is five letters long. Of course, this means the yellow wire goes in the fifth position. Next up is the blue wire. Blue is the same color as Paul Bunyan's ox, Babe. Naturally, we assume that this ox is the same as the one for the Chinese constellation of the same name, which we know is Capricornus. This constellation's main stars are 9 and 13, which, if you subtract 9 from 13, equal 4, meaning the blue wire goes in the fourth position. Lastly, we have the red wire, which goes in the first position by default. All right, Wheeler, I made it in. I'm gonna look around. Mom. Jesus, what did they do? Alex. Is that you? Mom, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna get you down. Let me go, Alex. 
Alex. I can't. It's okay, Alex. I love you.
As you probably guessed, we need to use the riddles located on each of the three signs to turn their respective dials. These dials have little icons on them that relate to the riddles in question. Find the correct icon the riddle is talking about, solve the puzzle. Let's give it a shot. Riddle number one's dial seems to contain nothing but chess references, so let's look at the riddle again as though the solution were a chess piece. I stand behind the holy man, the holy man being the bishop. This narrows our search down to either the king, queen, or knight. The monarchs fear my wrath. Well, since the king in chess is largely useless and not often used defensively, I think we can narrow our options down to the queen or the knight. None may move the way I can ever the crooked path. Since the knight moves in a crooked L-shaped path that no other chess piece moves in, I think he's our safest bet. Riddle number two is a bit harder. Its style contains a skull and crossbones, a coffin, a knife, a set of bars, and some sort of unholy guitar pick. Let's review the riddle itself. The man who devised the skull does not want it. No. The man who bought a knife does not use it? No. The man who used a set of bars does not realize it? Damn it. All right, let's try this. The man who devised a coffin does not want it. The man who bought a coffin does not use it for himself. The man who uses a coffin does not realize it. Cause he's dead. Yeah, that works. Riddle number three is the hardest of these puzzles. Its style contains time, love, omega slash horseshoe, money, and nothing. Let's check out the riddle. What man loves more than life? Nothing. Fears more than death or moral strife? Nothing. Poor men have nothing. The rich acquire nothing. All contented men desire nothing. Misers spend nothing. Wastrels save nothing. And each man carries to his grave? Horseshoe. I mean nothing. Where the hell are we? I don't know, Wheeler, but we have to keep moving.
Judge Holloway. Alex! Quick, you get her loose before they start pumping the gas. I'll shut off the valves. Yeah. Oh, Alex, thank God. How did you find me? We don't have time to talk. I've got to get you out of here. What is that? Where did you get that? It's Elle's. Elle? Where is she? Is she okay? I don't know. I'll find her, though. I promise. She said she took this from you. So I, I guess you should have it back. This isn't mine. It belonged to Nora. Nora? They turned on the gas!
Josh, wait! Who are you? My name's not important. Look, not important. Look, I'm lost. What what happened to this place? This whole place went to hell. There's no one left in here. You hear the siren? Run. Run from what? Human Centipede. Anyway, this is Asphyxia, Homecoming's third boss. She's got a variety of attacks, most of which involve her two upper torsos. Her main attack is an easily blocked three swing attack. She's also got a smog-like vomit attack and a grab. But the main thing we'll be watching out for is her tail swing. As soon as you see her butt swing into the air, we have a limited amount of time to get out of Asphyxia's melee range. If we stay, we'll take damage. But if we get out of the way in time, we'll be able to deal some damage to Asphyxia. If you guess that her weak spot is her tail section, then you'd be right. The point of this fight is to dodge and block her attacks and make our way to the tail. Once there, we'll smack on it, causing Asphyxia to get stunned for a bit. She'll lean over, allowing us to perform a hard attack on her. After enough blows, a quick time event will start up, ending the fight. <laughs> 